I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another question based on pre-calculus preparation. This time I have taken up an example on equation of tangent line. The example is find equation of the tangent line to the circle x square plus y square equals to 100 at the point P 6 8. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Here is a copy of this question. Now all these questions which I am discussing, they will really help you to prepare for calculus. So I have taken very limited examples where in each example will cover few important things to remember and I hope that helps. So the question for us is find equation of the tangent line to the circle x square plus y square equals to 100 at the point 6, 8. So we can make a rough sketch here. In calculus, rough sketches are good enough. Don't waste your time in, you know, making perfect drawings. You need to concentrate on solutions and thinking about getting the right solutions, right? In fact, effective solutions. So that becomes a circle with center at origin. We are given a point 6, 8. 6 will be somewhere here, for example. 8 could be there. So let me just draw the radius of this circle in a different ink. So I'll just draw a radius as from the origin to a point. And we'll call this point as point P, which is 6, 8. Do you see that? We need to find equation of a tangent line to the circle at this point, it really means that uh, we have draw a tangent which will be kind of like this. Correct? So that becomes the tangent line. Let's call this line as L. If the line is tangent, in that case, it has to be perpendicular to the radius. Right? And that gives you a hint. That is, the slope of the line is negative reciprocal to the slope of the radius. Do you see? So the strategy here is to find slope of radius. OP, right? That particular line OP. And we can always use M equals to Y2 minus Y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So one point is given to us, the other point is origin itself, correct? So in our case, slope of OP is equal to 8 minus 0, let me write this, 8 minus, I mean, 8 minus 0 over 6 minus 0, is it okay? So it is 8 over 6, which could be written as dividing by 2, 4 over 3. So that is the slope of the radius, right? We're talking about this line. Now, since the line L is perpendicular to OP, what is going to be the slope of the line? So slope of the line ML is going to be negative reciprocal. That means negative 3 over 4. As you can also see, it is dropping downwards, so it should be negative right? Now once you know the slope and the point, it is very easy to get equation of tangent line. So now the question comes down to writing equation of line L with slope of minus 3 over 4 through a point P which is 6, 8. That is simple, right? So you could use any of the formulas which you have learned. Uh, most of my students are familiar with y equals to mx plus b. So I'll use this one, right? You could also use the alternate formula, which is y minus y0 equals to m times x minus x0, right? Where y0, x0 is the given point. So I'll use the formula which my students are more familiar with, y equals to mx plus b. Now, here we know what the slope is. We say y equals to minus 3 over 4x plus b. To find the point 
to find the value of b, we'll use the point p, which is 6, 8. Substituting 8 for y gives us 8 equals to minus 3 over 4 times 6 plus b, right? Now, we'll take it to the right side and solve for b. Right? So, at present, I can write here b equals to taking this to the right side, I mean the left one, plus, uh, well, let me write 16 over 4, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 over 4, and then we'll reduce it. Okay. So, let me just make a room here for rest of the solution. So, what we have here is b equals to 8 plus dividing both by 2 gives us 9 over 2 which is taking 2 as common denominator 8 times 2 16 plus 9 which is 25 over 2 right so once we know what b is we can write down y equals to minus 3 over 4x plus 25 over 2 right in case you want to write it in standard form you can multiply all the numbers all the terms by 4 so we get 4y equals to minus 3x plus 50 or bringing them together 3x plus 4y minus 50 equals to 0 so that comes in standard form so that is the equation of tangent line at the given point. So I hope that helps and brings all the things together. The important thing which you learned here is consider radius to be at right angles to the tangent and then get the equation of the tangent. I hope that helps. Thanks and all the best.